Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? You know, it was about, I would say, oh gosh, I'm way out of the picture, I think. Uh, let me see. Okay. There we go, a little bit better. It was about two months ago or so that I, I did a video on dreams. Dreaming, what you dream, what they mean, and things like that. And I shared with you a story of one of the dreams that I had about sharks in the swimming pool. Well, and I told you, of course, that I was going to share another dream with you that I had. And uh, here goes this dream. It's a lot stranger than the sharks, and uh, a lot stranger than the sharks as far as I'm concerned. Okay. How do I begin? I find myself sitting in an old, old house. Everything about this house is old. First of all, I'm going to tell you that this whole dream was black and white. I normally dream in color. This dream was black and white. Why? Who knows? But, I'm sitting in this old house. Everything in this house is old. The carpeting is old. The furniture is old. The pictures on the wall are old. And this happens to be... Uh, a house that actually I used to live in when I was still living in West Plains, Missouri. So, I'm sitting here on a, I'm sitting on a love seat, and what I notice is the entire house is covered in snakes. The whole floor, the furniture, everything is covered in snakes. Snakes are slithering everywhere. They're slithering all over me and every poisonous snake known to mankind going all over me, man. Thing is, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I remember distinctly a cobra slithering up onto my stomach, down my leg, biting me on a big toe. No blood was drawn. But, as I'm sitting here watching all this, um, straight across from me is a door that leads outside, and there's a window in this door. And I'm kind of looking through that window, and of course it looks gray and dismal outside, everything is black and white. And I remember thinking to myself, i got to get out of this house, I've got to get through that door. And the moment I thought that, I looked onto the floor, and I noticed that there, there was a clearing on the floor. The snakes kind of like parted, and there was a path straight from where I was sitting to the door. So, I jump up. I run out that door as fast as possible, I open it, slam it shut, now I find myself outside. And I'm barefoot. And I'm thinking, hmm, where do I go now? I look to my right behind me where the house is at now, and there's an old bike that's sitting alongside this house. It's leaning against the house. And, of course, it's an old bike. You know, kind of, it looks a little rusty, you know, worn down. It's got the handlebars with the little ribbons on it, and it's got the, the banana seat. And I decide I'm going to take this bike and I'm going to go where I need to go. So I grab the bike and I'm holding it like this. I'm st standing on the left side and I push it alongside the house towards the front of the house, towards the road. Well, I get to the front of the house and there's this humongous porch. It's a gray porch painted gray or silver, whatever it is. And on this porch, I, tease, I see two cobras. They're kind of up like this, kind of like they're getting ready for strike mode. And they look like side by side, they're marching back and forth across the length of this porch. And I notice on the far side of the porch from where I'm at are my shoes. And now again, I remember thinking, I got to get those shoes back. So, I look at my bike, put down the kickstand, put it down, and I stand alongside that porch, and when I see the snakes, their backs are, their backs are towards me, they're marching against, again towards those shoes. When they almost get to the shoes, I jump up on the porch, I run towards the snakes, and then as soon as I get up to them, I grab my shoes right in front of them, turn around, and run away as fast as possible. Now, I jump off the porch, get back onto my bike, and I grab my bike and I run towards the road. As I get to the road, I take a left, 
I'm running on down the road, I look behind me, and every single solitary snake that was in that house, they are chasing me down this road. And it's not like they were slithering like this, they almost looked like they were all inchworms, you know, kind of galloping towards me. And of course, the two snakes that led the pack were the two snakes that were guarding my shoes. My shoes, which were also old, had holes in them. I was still carrying them and I was pushing the bike. Then I turn around to go run some more and I wake up. Now, I had this dream twice as well. And if you know anything about uh, dream symbolism and things like that, I would welcome your responses. And if you guys happen to have any kind of dreams that you'd want to share, you know, feel free to tack them onto this video. I like dreams, I like the symbology, I like that kind of stuff. So that's that's my other dream that I had, and I've remembered it in full detail and everything. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.